Hello, Scorpio. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play some tarot cards with you today, my friends. <clears throat> Thank you so very much for tuning in one more time. Thank you for all of your likes and all of your subscribes. All of your fun comments, Scorpio. Love your comments. They're the best. Also, uh, I want to thank everybody that reached out and uh, blessed me with a donation. Thank you, my friends. And also all my Scorpio friends that reached out for private readings. Thank you for all of that, my friends. If, you're, if you would like to donate or you're interested in a private reading, all that information is down below in the description box. These readings will be for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November, mid-month, huh? as we go into December here. These readings will be for love and relationships. Relationships of all kinds, homework, family. You know, we got a lot going on right here. Let's see where you fit in here. I myself will be focusing primarily on love. I love to read for love. And of course, we all know there's ain't no way these can be for every Scorpio on the planet. So if this resonates with you, have fun with it and run with it. And if it doesn't, have fun throwing it out. Mm -hmm. All my cross watchers, you're absolutely welcome here, my friends. I love you guys. I do want to remind you that even though I'll be saying Scorpio a lot, these may read out from your perspective. All right. With all that being said, let's play some cards right here. Been shuffling your cards for a while. Let's go with this right here, Scorpio. I'm going to tune in. Hey, Tarot, hey, love team. Scorpio's here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see, help me speak what I need. Help Scorpio see and hear what they need out of this read. Let's take all these amazing pictures. Let's put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Scorpio's highest good. Thank you so very much for that, love team. I cannot do this without you. I appreciate you, my guides. Here we go, Scorpio cutting the deck. Scorpio, first card out right here is Seven of Cups, right in the middle of your spread right here. Definitely, um, well, Seven of Cups always talks about, you know, the land of confusion. Hmm? Possibly uh, many options uh, showing up in your world or somebody else in your world having a lot of options. The one main thing about this card right here, this card always says to me, you know, what you own, owns you. Let's see where this goes right here. Seven of Cups right in the middle of your spread right here, Scorpio. Ooh, look at that. Crossed over by two of cups right here. Ooh, many of my Scorpio friends, this is all water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio right here. <laughs> you know, been in a little bit of land of illusion about, you know, a soulmate, twin flame, life partner, whatever we're calling them right here. This is a strong union right here. You know, wondering, hey, what in the world's going on? Maybe... And maybe they, you know, Seven of Cups, maybe, you know, they've been goofing around. Let's just say it like that. Two of Cups right here, though. I love this right in the middle of your spread right here. Uh, let's see where this goes. I love it. You know, that is the, that is the love card right there for me right there. Uh, I got to point out, it has the Caduceus on here as well, you know. I know Scorpio uh, had a rough year, to say the least. Let's, let's, let's just go ahead and believe for healing to come in in this situation, to come out of this confusion right here, you know. There it is right there. There's the King of Cups at the base of this spread right here. This is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio right here. It could be, you know, Sun, Moon, Rising. It could be, uh, well, you've definitely known this person for a while. No doubt, it's at the distant past right here. They're the base of the spread right here. This king right here can represent either uh, male or female, but this king right here has the potential to be an amazing catch. Amazing husband, amazing wife, father, mother. You know, 
amazing potential to be spiritual. Has his hands in that namaste, you know, right there. The only situation about this king right now, he's the, he is the king of love. There's no doubt about that. Um, can love deeply. But this king right here, so he only has one foot in the ocean of emotion right there. The other foot is up there on his throne, which is up out of the ocean of emotion as well. This king right here definitely does not wear his heart on his sleeve. And may have been hiding his true feelings for you, my Scorpio friends, for a while, bringing that seven of cups in. Even though you know this is two of cups, you know this is, you know... Uh, one of those um, divine unions right here. Let's see where this goes, Scorpio. Look at this right here. Princess of Pentacles showing up in the recent past. It's Earth energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This princess. Princesses always talk about messages coming in. This is a... Uh, Pentacles always talk about the 3D to me. And what I mean by that is that these messages that came in recently in the past, probably from this king right here, this two of cups, were, you know, over the telephone at a minimum, probably face-to-face -face meetings, you know. They may have come in here and with a small pinnacle right here, you know, giving you a, you know, here's my pinnacle, you know. And uh, showing you a small piece of the harvest right here, you know. Beginnings of the feelings of, well, maybe the price has been paid here. Let's go forward, you know. This is one step forward at a time right here. It is a nice, wonderful energy, and it talks about the beginnings of a new day dawning for many of my Scorpio friends that are uh, watching me right now. It's nice. Let's see where this goes, Scorpio. There it is right there. Wow. This is uh, the Chariot card. It's a Major Arcana, Major Life Force card. Uh, it's Cancer. May mean something to you, may not. And once again, all this water energy right here. Uh, this person may have Cancer in their chart. We've got all these cups right here. Definitely they have some kind of water in their chart. There's no doubt about it. That's the Chariot card right here, you know. First and foremost, I mean, it crowns your spread right here. This is the card of victory in the tarot deck. It shows the ponies right here, you know, pulling at different directions. I also see Sagittarius with this card uh, because of the ponies right here. The ponies right here pulling at different directions, but the charioteer right there, you can see him. He's all lit up. He's illuminated. He's sitting under the canopy of the universe right there. I tell you what, this relationship is absolutely, well, you see the charioteer is coming out of the city right there. This relationship has absolutely pulled uh, many of my Scorpio friends out of their comfort zone, no doubt about that. You see the, the ponies splashing through the water right there, all this water right here, you know, splashing through the emotions of life right here. <laughs> many of you would like a stronger offer, you know, coming in from this uh, two of cups person right here. More than just a little pinnacle. You know, here's my pinnacle. You know what I'm talking about. But this is a wonderful card to crown you right here. It's, it, this connects, in my readings, with higher self, your higher self. This talks about victory because of your focus, your focus on the situation. You seeing victory in the situation. It's also a major arcana. Um, which can talk about uh, soul's journey. You know, soul's journey towards victory right here. There's two of cups on the spread right here. You know, it's, it's beautiful. Um, of course, it can talk about some travel. Maybe they showed up and said, hey, on the mundane. Uh, yeah, let's take a little road trip or something. But anyway, it is a beautiful card of victory right here. I love it on top of this spread right here. You know, it definitely trumps seven of cups right here, Scorpio. No doubt about that. It definitely trumps the little offer, you know. Despise not the day of small beginnings. You know what I'm talking about right here. Chariot on the top of the card right, the top of the top of the spread right there. Oh, here it is right here. Six of cups right there. More water energy, huh, Scorpio? Cancer Pisces Scorpio right there, Six of Cups. You know, as we come out of Venus retrograde, where everybody, you know, for 40 days and 40 nights have been 
pondering what I love and why I love it. And then <laughs> right now we go into uh, another Mercury retrograde. Hey, these are the times when these past lovers come into your life, which is what Six of Cups is talking with me about. Of course, it can talk about, you know, just sweet, nostalgic thoughts of the past when times were good with this person right here because there were some good times right here, no doubt. This is Two of Cups, you know. Uh, I keep looking at the victory card right there, you know. It keeps setting your intentions, you know. Come out of this Seven of Cups right here, you know. The confusion, you know. You see it the way you want it to be, Scorpio. Six of Cups. I love this for you, my friends. This is one of my favorite cards. It is the only uh, Cups card, which Cups talk about love and emotions, that have flowers in the Cups right there, you know. These kind of soulmates are supposed to have flowers in the cups right there. We see him offering up a small pinnacle right here in the recent past. But I like this little boy in this picture right here, Scorpio. Look, he's, he's giving that cup with the flowers to the little girl right there. You know, flowers always talk with me about touchable, tangible bliss. If you don't know anybody from your past, this could absolutely talk about, you know, somebody from a past life showing up in your world right here, Scorpio. But for many of you, you know, you already know this person. This is Two of Cups, and they have, they have had you, you know, in the, in the land of uh, confusion for a while. But I love the victory card up on top of it right here. I love the King of Love right here, Scorpio. And Six of Cups definitely talks about uh, somebody. Somebody showing up here, Scorpio. Get ready, get ready, get ready. This is also soulmate energy right here. Hoo hoo, man. Let's see where we go. Yeah, look at this. Three of Wands right here. And how Scorpio sees themselves. This is a powerful card. It's called your ship's coming in. Hmm? I love it for you, Scorpio. Uh, Three of Wands always talks with me about putting all of your heart, soul, and strength into a situation. Talks to me about you using Law of Attraction to the best of your ability to get these ships to dock up. Those are definitely his ships right there, and they're definitely coming in. He's still waiting, you know, still waiting, sitting right here by this king that, you know, is probably hiding how he really feels about you, Scorpio. But this is a powerful card, and being lined up with Law of Attraction right here tells me that all of Source, whoever that is to you, all of the Divine, your angelic host, your ancestors, your higher self, all of them, you know, soul's journey right here, helping you, Scorpio, to get your ships to dock up right here. Powerful, powerful. And it is fire energy is right as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising. Yeah, look at this. Exterior influence on the situation has been the tower. You know, I mean, the seven of cups right there. The separation. There's absolutely been some kind of breakup in the past. You know, probably, I don't know. You know, they're just not showing you how they feel about you. And you know, deep down on the inside, this king, you know, he feels deeply. You know, it's absolutely about uh, the tower. The tower shows the lovers falling from the tower right there. You know, somebody trying to grab for that old ego crown right there. The other one just is like, well, it is what it is. Let's see what happens here. Tower card is always a blessing in the skies. It levels the playing field uh, between the two people right there. Definitely... Uh, for you, Scorpio, um, the power of the tower is to use that, that clearing energy right there as a springboard to set your intentions to jump towards what you do want. You know, boing, here I go. This is what I do want because now I know what I don't want. I love it for you right here. Definitely has been a tower in the past. This is definitely somebody that most of my Scorpios already know with Six of Cups right there. They left you in the land of confusion right here. Uh, you know who they are. They've probably been hiding their feelings from you. They have showed up in the recent past. And here's my pinnacle one more time. You believing, stirring that within you. Wow, I can really get my ships to dock back up here again. Six of Cups, here they come. It's a powerful spread, Scorpio. Uh, Hopes or fears, you know. 
Eight of Swords. I, you know, this energy right here, um, this young lady, you know, I'm going to cuss here. This is my mental mind fuck card, you know. Seven of Cups, Eight of Swords right there. Feeling trapped in the situation, you know. This is a thought process that you really need to come out of right here. You know, let's see it the way you want it to be. Scorpio, I'm seeing they're going to come back in in the 3D. They're coming in here for you. I see victory in this situation. It was, this may have taken quite a while, you know, for many of my Scorpio friends right here. And you believing the whole time. Why are you canceling out this believing with Eight of Swords right here? Let's go ahead and see it the way you want it to be, you know, because this young lady, you know, she's not really trapped in any way, shape, or form. She could get out of those swords. Swords always talk about the thought process, you know. I'll blah, 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 blah. She could get out of that anytime she wants. She could back up on one of those swords and cut those loose binds off, pull that blindfold off, get out of this little bit of miry clay right here and get back up to that castle right up there, the high vibrational world where she's supposed to be right here. You know, eights are always about new beginnings for me. Let's start a new beginning with thought process, huh? Let's see it the way we want it to be. I'm telling you, you know, tarot, nothing's written in granite right here. Tarot is for you to set your intentions the way that you want them to be, to get new perspectives, and of course, forewarned, forearmed right here. Yeah, let's see the outcome right here. Three of Pentacles right here. This is nice. It's nice. In the books, Three of Pentacles talks about working on a foundation of something that's important to you with somebody else, you know. It has begun. Although it is a three up here, and the Seven of Cups right there, they may have been playing with somebody else. That may be why they've come in the recent past, just with that small offer for you. But this is definitely some kind of divine union right here. They're going to come to their right mind right here, Scorpio. They, they really want to begin to work on a... Uh, a uh, new foundation with you is really what I see right here. But I see Scorpio, you know, be like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know. But really, you know, this is what you want. It's got my chariot, six of cups, and three of wands right here. Is it not, Scorpio? Mm -hmm. This could be air energy right here. I mean, I'm pulled to that air energy. This is the one that's got you all up in your head. This would be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising right here. They may have some Earth in their chart as well with the uh, Princes of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles, you know. That would be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Definitely, definitely have water. There's water all over. There is absolutely love in this situation right here. See what's on the bottom of the deck with this, Scorpio. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, I'm giggling here. Because, you know, it tells the story, doesn't it? Temperance showing up right here. Sagittarius uh, showing up right here. I also put cancer with this because of the uh, blending of the water and the blending of the fire right here. The alchemy that's involved in this card right here. This is temperance. It talks about patience, of course. It talks about being balanced, which I, I see that... Many of you need to work on that a little bit with that Eight of Swords. Let's just get a little bit balanced. Looks like this is really going to begin to come together for you, my friend. You know, this could, this could show up into something amazing. Definitely as we go into the new year. I see the beginning of a new foundation right there with Three of Pentacles. Uh, um, it's nice. This soulmate is coming to their right mind. Can I say that? This is uh, Michael, the Archangel, in the Tarot Illuminati right here. Michael does have the two cups in his hand right there. You know, this is a high union card to me in a love spread. Michael, blending, you know, the sacred masculine and the sacred feminine energies right there. It may take a minute. You know that. You know, he's blending fire and water. Let's make steam. But it may take a minute, huh? You know, this card talks about meditation. See, Michael's, he's all illuminated right there. You know, it's whew, same right here, you know, focused whew, on their victory right here. It's a major arcana. Definitely talks about the potential for all the cooperative components to come together for you. Hmm? Being at the right place at the right time. Seeing it the way you want it to be. 
And this talks about, you know, in my opinion, that this uh, divine union, it's already in the ethers, man, and it's close. That's the patience right there. Just a little bit longer before this relationship manifests completely, you know, in the 3D right here. This is a, it's good in, this is powerful right here. But, you know, I see, uh, well, we got the king of wands right here. You know, he's always soulmate energy to me. More fire right there. Like I said, this person may have fire in their chart right there. He's the king of wands. This could be who you're dealing with right here. King of wands, male or female. You know, uh, some, they're generally very good looking. They generally have a lot of suitors. Mm -hmm. Seven of cups. And, um, you know, passionate. This is the king of passion, you know. Here's my wand. Yeah. A get up and go kind of guy. Entrepreneur. Can be potentially be quite successful in life. But I like what he's doing right there, you know. He's got his hand on his chin right there. What am I going to do about my Scorpio right here? Oh, they're showing up. Should I, give them a, should I give them more of an offer than just that? Here, my little pinnacle right here, you know. Should I, should I let this other situation go? It's really what I see right here. And that's all backed up right here with old Diablo showing up right here. You know, this is earth energy. It's Capricorn, may mean something to you, may not. We do have the three of pentacles on the top of the spread right here. Earth energy. They may be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, a, a soulmate relationship that uh, they find challenging to release. Although they know that it's toxic, no doubt about it. Uh, it's really what I'm getting out of this, Scorpio. Um, but this is about them. This is about them uh, realizing the fact, you know, remove the mat, see the chain. This is about self-imposed bondage, you know. He's thinking, how do, how, how do I release myself from this toxic energy that I feel that this person is playing with at this time? And ask you to be patient and prayerful and see it the way that you want it to be. Send pure positive energy in this direction. I know, Scorp, I know. But you want it. You want this relationship. There's no doubt about it. You know, let's come out of this tower energy, right? Let's see it the way we want it to be. You know, let's see them working on a foundation on something that's important to you and them with you and them. The other person now. It's definitely very toxic. They're definitely in a uh, karmic relationship, in my opinion, right here. Probably with an earth sign, sun, moon, rising, Venus. I do see the beginnings of something wonderful here. Cannot get away from that two of cups in the middle of this spread right here. I cannot get away from the chariot card, victory on top of this. And you, using law of attraction. Yeah, yeah, you, you know. And here they come. They're going to come back. It's going to be up to you, really, Scorpio, what you're going to do with this situation right here. Powerful spread, my friends. I see your lover coming back. No, many of you have wanted them to come back. And here they come. They're coming. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready, Scorpio. They're coming. Probably during um, this Mercury retrograde right here. All right. Hey, Romance Angels, let's throw out some cards for the uh, Scorpio right here that line up with this spread. Thank you, love angels. You know, for guidance, encouragement, all that fun stuff. Thank you, love angels. The Scorpio, please. That's the key. Continue to show up right here pretty much for everybody. Love yourself first. You know, that's the key on how to catch these kind of soulmate relationships. If this old knucklehead right here, can I call him that, Scorpio? Yeah, because they ain't been playing with you right for a while right now. If they do not want to receive that agape love that you have for them, pour it into yourself, healing your heart, healing your mind, and become very attractive to them. You know that old empress energy right there. The empress, she don't get up and chase anything. Thank you very much. She sits in her throne and uses law of attraction to attract to her great abundance in love and great abundance in prosperity right here. Money, honey. Yeah, 
Love yourself first right there. That is really the key. Not chase them. You know that, Scorpio. I don't, I don't really see you have been chasing them. You, many of you let it go. And then they'd be like, well, where's my Scorpio? Because, you know, if you've ever had a Scorpio in your life, man, they are absolutely amazing. And will bring major transformation into your life right here, huh? More for Scorpio, please. Codependency right here. Well, maybe, you know, some of the issues right here, we do got the old Diablo right there, you know, drinking, drugging, acting like a fool, you know. Codependency has showed up right here. There's definitely some red flags still going on around here, you know. See it the way that you want it to be, and if they're not lining up with that, you know. Look at this right here. Forgiving and learning. Wow. Ooh, yeah. Love yourself first, forgiving and learning, and of course, codependency showing up with the old Diablo right there. More, please. Look at this. I'm telling you, Scar. Worth waiting for. Divine timing. I know you don't want to hear that anymore. I know. I know, Scorpio. I know. I know. I've been reading you guys for a while here. But there's definitely a strong attraction here between the two of you. Hmm? Law of attraction. You're doing this. Law of attraction. Yeah. You're doing this, Scorpio. So, you know, flow with it. Go with it. Hmm? I see the desires of your heart manifesting right here. Attraction definitely talks to me about not focusing on the past. Hmm? Forgiveness. Not focusing on the future. Yeah. But being in the now, you know, that appreciative of the now. Be appreciative of what's happening in your life. Now, Scorpio. Very, very, very nice. Look at this passion coming up right here passion you know allow your heart and soul to sing with joy huh be happy when there's nothing to be happy about be joyful when there's nothing to be joyful about why well because we create our own reality and you're absolutely setting your crystalline grid out in front of you creating the reality that you want to manifest that's why we're happy when there's nothing to be happy about and that's why we're joyful when there's nothing to be joyful about because that's all that the you know law of attraction can bring into you when you've set your intentions to manifest that in your reality right here don't see this thing failing if you want it i know you do with three of wands right here continue to see it that way hmm? it's a powerful spread right here it really is i see i see uh, major major love brewing here i see him coming back i see it really your call your call right here what you're going to do with it all right they're definitely coming back because you're using law of attraction in a powerful way, my friends. I'm impressed. I love it. Love yourself first, forgiving and learning, attraction, worth waiting for, passion. And, of course, codependency with old Diablo right over there. Um, so uh, let's throw out some uh, cards on top of this for Scorpio, please, that line up with this spread. Thank you very much. Hangman. Mm -hmm. Scorpio right there. You know, feeling stuck like Chuck, eight of swords. Um, but, you know, the nice thing about it, you know, that eight is always talks is about new beginnings. This eight always talks about, you know, coming out of the mental mind fuck here. Hangman does with me too, you know, because Hangman, he's hanged in the tree right there, but he's hanged by his foot, not by his neck. So, many times when Hangman shows up, we place ourselves in the Hangman's tree right there, trying to obtain something sacrificially. Really what Hangman is about right there is getting a new perspective about what's going on around you at this particular point in time. I'm hoping that I can help you uh, pull up some kind of uh, new perspective. Seeing things in a different light, you know. <laughs> Let's set our crystalline grid properly, my friends, right here. And look, Herophant showed up right here. Ha, oh, this is a divine union trying to manifest from many of my Scorpio friends right here. This is the source card to me. The divine right here wants to show up. Herophant, he's the Pope of the tarot deck right here, you know. Herophant is about, um, well, being spiritual and being streetwise at the same time. It's about, uh being the student and being the teacher at the same time. 
Hierophant's definitely about uh, seeking out um, spiritual guidance or wisdom from others or them coming to you, Scorpio. I mean, them coming to you, Scorpio, for spiritual guidance and wisdom. People, no doubt about it, man. You're Scorpio. Wow. Nobody flies higher than Scorpio. They can become the golden eagle. Woo, high, fly really high and see really far. Hierophant is about committed relationships and the life lessons that we learn from them. And Hierophant, definitely, with this spread right here with two of cups, slap up in the middle of this, talks with me about, you know, those contracts that we signed in the 5D before we come and play with this kind of soulmate right here. So if you've signed that kind of contract here, let's see it happening for you, Scorpio. I see him coming back. I see him coming back. I do. Hey, Scorpio, I hope you got something out of this. I know I did. Namaste, my friends. Love and light. Talk to you soon, Scorpio. Bye for now.